A very good morning and welcome to all of you listeners on this channel, Seek the Soul, the Truth Lies Within. And we are on the 176th day of our continuous godly blessings, where each day we're exploring all the different blessings and how to make our mind powerful, peaceful, happier and blissful with this divine knowledge. So before we go ahead with this divine blessing, let's have a look at the link above. Click on that link which takes you to 11 videos which describe you different methods of yoga asanas, flexibility, diet and sleep patterns. Everything is mentioned over there. Have a look. So let's go ahead with 176 day of your godly blessing. In this blessing, Baba tells us a method or God the Father tells us a method of how when we face situations or we face people who come and insult us, who blame us for something or who come with a very body conscious vision towards us, how do we transform it? What do we do when that happens? Let's understand how this helps us to become more stable in our life. So let's go ahead with this blessing. Baba says, may you be a conqueror of obstacles and become worthy of receiving thanks from everyone with the power of transformation. Conqueror of obstacles. What are the obstacles in our life, in our financial life, we have obstacles. In our relationships also, sometimes we face certain situations and obstacles. But this is something which is to do with spirituality, where we're trying to be in a state of continuous peace of mind, continuous state of happiness, continuous state of bliss. And that can only happen once we follow certain rules and regulations of how souls interact with each other. What is my power? How do I stay stable in my mind? And what is the game of this whole drama or what is the situation which can arise in front of me? Am I preparing for the test paper? Test paper not of the worldly life, but test paper of spiritual life where we are not sitting, sitting in an exam hall and writing down certain questions and answers. But this is when people face us, they insult us or say something bad to us or they say something demeaning to us. And sometimes even they praise us too much and we get into ego. So God says ego of that kind is also instability. Feeling sad or feeling insulted is also a form of instability. How do we stay in between of that? So let's get into the details. Baba says if someone insults you, transform the insult into upliftment in a second. How do you do that? If somebody is sending an arrow towards you, shooting an arrow, if you have your guard on, if you have your protective guard on, then you are safe. But if you don't have that protective guard on, obviously you're going to be pierced by that arrow. Now here the arrows are the words of people who insult us. Now what is that arrow going to do? It's going to pierce the armor. Now what is this armor over here? Armor is an armor of good wishes, which we practice throughout the day. That means early in the morning when we get up at 4 o'clock, we send out vibrations of powerful love and peace to all the souls not just our family members but the whole world is a family member when we send that vibration to all the souls automatically our karmic accounts which are there between us souls and the other souls we don't know which birth what we did with which soul and when that soul is going to come and confront us we might not even recognize that soul because the bodily physical features of that soul has changed from the previous births so now when we are doing that meditation, we are sending out vibrations of purity and love towards all the souls, even animal souls. Yes, some of us are afraid of animal souls also, right? Dog might bite me, the snake might bite me. So we can send out vibrations to even these souls so that we remain safe and protected. And with good wishes, we have done certain things to other souls in the form of financial issues. We must have brought about a loss to somebody in a previous birth financial issues so somebody comes in comes back in a life to take that kind of uh, energy back from us that means they want something in finances from us we might have given some form of a uh, hurt to somebody in relationships we might have hurt somebody physically that too can be healed through meditation when we send out vibrations that may you have all the wealth and all the health and all the good happiness and love in your relationships we can pray for the whole world like that during meditation. And that is what is the armor which we can wear. And throughout the day when we are soul conscious and God conscious, especially what that means is when we are connected to God in the same manner that God, only you are my judge. And let anybody else come, but I'll 
see their words i'll decipher their words i'll judge their words not them i'll judge their words through your eyes of knowledge that means if they are saying certain things to me which might be demeaning which might be insulting are they speaking the truth and that's the time i use the power of going within withdrawing within and instead of replying back what do we generally do we reply back or we shout back or we insult them back but god says use the power to withdraw just like a tortoise when they feel that there's some kind of danger all the four limbs and the neck of the tortoise goes in god says similarly over here don't use your five senses by for doing anything wrong at that time withdraw yourself go within be in my remembrance because i am the one who's your true judge nobody else can judge you so at that time be totally neutral understand where is that coming from sometimes people are disturbed in their own life when they are not happy in their own life when they are facing situations they generally tend to blame other people and that's what we have also done you also done right so when that happens we can understand where is that hurt coming from where is that word coming from is that something which i have done because of which that person is feeling like that or it could be that something has happened in that person's life and that person is just grunting out or is just taking out all that poison through their emotions through their mouth so it could be anything but if i have done something then i can be in that stage stage of withdrawal and i can be withdrawing and i can be sorry in myself and i can be sorry to that person or i can change what i have done wrong and be at the same time sorry and at the same time i can think about it whether that insult is true or not not from a judgmental form of thinking not by saying what does that person think of himself what does she think of himself but from a very neutral way of thinking remember that we have prayed in the morning or we have meditated in the morning and given out good wishes to all the souls suddenly we can't reverse back and start saying this person is bad or that person is bad that is what is the power or the energy of meditating in the morning so when that person comes and insults us we can even check that okay god father i have not done anything like this but then i have the power to tolerate love and respect at the same time when they are shouting out or when they are screaming out when they are taking out all the frustration within themselves so that's the time when we can actually be in the state of giving blessings or having good wishes towards them and in both the cases if you done something wrong at that time also forgiveness ask for forgiveness sorry and at the same time have good wishes towards them that protects us that's an armor for us it's not a weakness that we show when somebody is doing something bad to us it's an armor for our own safety we think how can i say that how can i be so kind how can i be so loving at that time well it's for your own safety it's for your own peace of mind it's for your own happiness so then baba says that if someone comes in front of you to test you with their sanskars or nature they have the certain habits they have the habit of looking at the bad or the worse in other people or they have a nature of getting concerned or getting worried and they shout about at that particular time or they don't have the tolerance power that is their nature then with the awareness of the one god the father adopt your elevated sanskars and nature of a merciful heart and we can be merciful only when we have good wishes for the souls that's what we practice throughout the day not just in the morning throughout the day we are meditating we are giving out good wishes to all the other souls so when someone comes in front of you with bodily vision that means they look at you and they let's say comment upon your physical features they comment up comment upon your wealth or they comment or they laugh about what you are wearing that's a bodily vision right transform their vision into soul conscious vision so instead of getting affected by looking at yourself in the mirror and saying oh that person commented about my eyes about my looks about my about my clothes instead of getting affected at that time help them to see and become soul conscious because they are going through jealousy they are going through comparison and that's why they don't have peace of mind and now you can help them out to see the soul conscious vision and that helps them to become peaceful in their own mind instead of you getting affected by the comments about your features about your clothes about what you're wearing god wants us to transform our vision and transform their vision sometimes somebody even comment upon you that you're looking good or you're looking beautiful and that time that is also a very very body conscious vision what can you do at that time same thing baba wants us to transform that so when you have learned the art of transformation in this way baba says you will become a conqueror of obstacles you won't be into mood swings up and down that's what happens somebody says something we become sad or we become over excited when somebody comments upon us on our features and says you're looking good or you have accomplished something great and they comment or they compliment us and suddenly we are like very happy 
Paul says be neutral, take all the compliments which I've given you in the form of who you are, you're my child and don't expect any compliments or anything from the world. It doesn't mean that you become egoistic and you keep a straight face. You thank them for, for their compliment but at the same time from inside don't be affected by it at all. So God says all souls who are in connection with you will then thank you because you'll show stability. So it's like if you accept that thanks or if you accept that comment from them, then they also accept, expect that from you, right? They expect that you also comment upon their clothing, upon their features. And if you don't do so, they think that you are very, very selfish. So now what is the best way to do what go about it? Best way is to make them soul conscious. Tell them that it is not important how I look, what I wear or what my features are. The most important thing is that I am in soul consciousness. And when I'm in soul consciousness, you automatically are peaceful and you can make other people also peaceful. That's what is the highest form of seva which God wants us to do. Otherwise, there's going to be jealousy, there's going to be competition, comparison amongst each other. And God wants us to finish all those small little games of obstacles. So I leave you with this beautiful Vardhan. Have a blessed day. Stay safe, stay home. Om Shanti.